Kira, what is this? Is this a video? What is this a video on the cooking channel? Memphis is like, why are you talking to her like that? What are you, what are we doing? Oh my gosh, you guys. Apparently, we're cooking stuff on Snow Dogs Cooking. This might not be a regular thing, but we're doing it right now. Right? Right. Can you, <laughs> can you guess what we're gonna make? We're not making that though. We already made that on this channel. Oh. I mean, we're not filming that. Right, but we're still making it. We are. Okay, if you guys so. wanna see that video, we already have that video up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are making these. Oh, we're gonna make these too. These are Swedish rosettes and then whatever that word is. <laughs> it says it's a Scandinavian cookie because for those of you that don't know, Jamie's Norwegian. Yeah. And Norway and Sweden are right next to each other. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of closeness up there. So we are going to attempt to not burn ourselves, and we're going to uh, make this fancy stuff. Yeah. There will be an Amazon, some Amazon affiliate links to where you can get this tool. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It's pretty cool. And make some stars too. Yeah, this is going to, we've never done this before. We've eaten it before. We've never made them on our own before. Hey, little lady, are you back? Welcome back. Yeah, hooks on pretty good. Yep, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna attempt this and show you guys how we do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take and we are going to get a pan and put some oil in it. We're just using vegetable oil. You're gonna want just over two inches of oil in your pan because we're gonna be taking this thing and putting batter on it and putting it down in there and you don't want that to be touching the bottom of the pan. We're gonna go ahead and start bringing this up to temperature. While that is warming, we're gonna get our batter ready. We're going to want our oil to be about 325 degrees. we got a ways to go here. we got a ways to go. Next, we're going to get all of our ingredients ready. We're going to go through them real quick for you guys. Two eggs, one teaspoon of sugar, one cup of milk, one cup of flour, which we're going to sift, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and one whole tablespoon of lemon extract, which wow. smells I can, amazing. I was going to say, I can smell that. <laughs> all right, let's start mixing things together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack these eggs. We put them in a separate bowl because it's easier to pick out shells. <laughs> and then we are going to just slightly beat them. You don't want to overbeat them, just slightly. We'll show you what that looks like in a second. Oh, good. Mmm, looking like eggs to me. So next we're going to add the sugar. There's not a whole lot of sugar not in this. Not much sugar. <laughs> and then the milk. Now I want cookies. Oh wait, that's what we're making. <laughs> and then we're just going to mix that together a little bit. And then we're going to add that lemon extract, which is going to make everything smell amazing. That looks really pretty. <laughs> it's kind of going to be like a pancake batter consistency when we're done. So now we're going to take the salt and we're going to put it in here with the flour. And then... I'm going to hold this over here. This is our sifter. We're going to pour all the flour in here. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to drop we it. got this. And then you sift it. This is a sifter. It kind of gets everything mixed together. And you just sift it in there. And then I'm going to slowly mix that a little bit while Jamie's doing that. And as always, we got our two little kitchen helpers in here. Are you in here helping? I'm the best helper ever. I'm just going to lick everything as it hits the floor. <laughs> This smells amazing. So you can kind of see the consistency of it is like a thin, like a thin pancake batter. You want it to be runny like this. This is perfectly fine. This is what we're going for. Are you trying to see what's up here? She's like, I can smell all the smells, guys. It smells so good. <laughs> Sorry, these aren't, these aren't for you, though. So we actually have this cool candy thermometer, and that's what we're going to use to make sure we get the oil to the right temperature. I also have one of these little digital thermometers that you can also use, just to make sure that your oil, you don't want your oil to be too hot, but you also need it to be hot enough to actually cook stuff. Okay, here we go. So we've got to dip that into there. So you got to hold that in there for a little bit, because you want that iron to get hot. So once it gets hot the first time, you don't really have to do this every single time. At least I don't think you do. Ooh, our oil, yep, our oil is just about perfect at six on our stove. We're just a little above 325, so that should be good. So basically we want that to yeah, get and if hot. This, if this fell off, I could I could still pick it up. The oil's yeah. not deep enough. Right. With this neat little tool. Right. I don't know. I'd say the iron is hot. Strike when the iron is hot. Yep. So yeah. Hot? So you and you don't want it to be drippy. So you want to pull. You want to make sure that it's not all. Is it hot? 
I don't know, touch it. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, don't do that, guys. Don't don't okay, touch it. Okay. So then we're going to okay. dip it into the batter, okay. but you don't want to dip it too deep. Oh, there you go. So get it where it doesn't go over the edge, and then pull it out of there. All right? The first and one, then dip it back in there. The first one might be a wash because the first the, one might be a wash. Because there's a lot of air bubbles on the top here. So basically, it's done when that stops bubbling. I don't know if you dipped it deep enough either. No, don't pull it out till it stops bubbling or else it'll fall off. We're probably gonna need a... Uh, We're gonna need a bigger boat. A lifter. Okay, we'll get a lifter. Ooh. Oh, it's brown. Yeah. All right, if it's a... Uh, it's still I'd bubbling say, a little bit though. I'd say the bubbling's it stopped. All right, well, it's, I mean, it's still bubbling a little bit. Okay. Okay, if you think it's brown, think go it's ahead. Brown. And then take it over to here. Oh my gosh, it didn't fall. No, it's not supposed to fall off. It says you so have to, I let it drip out a little. I don't know if it's fully done, but so then we're supposed to take a fork and kind of. Oh my gosh, we did it! One done. That's so cool. Fifty-four more to go. Fifty-four more to go. So the box says that this should make about forty-five to fifty of these. So it's probably already hot, so I probably didn't have to do that. So I'm just gonna go again. Yep. Just be careful not to go over the edge. Yep, and then put it right in there. Oops, oh, see, you, see so see how that opened? That was because you didn't go down fast enough. So if I push it down further? It should. All right, so Hopefully. I'm going to hold it under the bubbles a bit. Yep, it push it right back yes. up. Yes. Yeah, as if long you as don't... you do that quick enough before it cooks, it will Yes. It will form to it. It's a learning level. process. We're, we're doing this. It's a learning process. Kind of got to wiggle it around a little bit. We got this. All right, we're going to keep doing it. So they're coming along. That was the first one we did. You could tell it was a little bit airy, but the next ones are all starting to look pretty perfect. And it's looking pretty good. We're still at it. The helpers are still here. You're a pretty good helper too, Kira. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a good helper. <laughs> Don't step backwards. You'll trip over Memphis. Mm -hmm. uh, they're turning out pretty good. We're getting ready to put powdered sugar on these. And we've gone to the next shape. Once they're all done and cooled, make sure they're cooled, because if they're not, the powdered sugar is going to stick to everything. Put it in a little, like a, I don't know what this is called. I'm not a chef. <laughs> a, wire, a wire strainer or a sifter. And then you kind of just do this trick where it looks like snow. Make it snow. And you make it snow on them. Dun, 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 dun. Let it snow, let it snow, I'm let it... I'm going to do it like three more times because Jessica's, uh, she's a little skimpy on that. They should almost be white. Mm, look at this yeah, perfection. Look at that powder. Oh, yeah. That powder goodness. And you can actually do it with them flipped either way. I have them flipped this way because I thought they'd look prettier. Yeah, they have a little bit more shape. Whoops, sorry, i got to burn stuff. Okay. So they're pretty much going to look like that once you get all that... Yummy powdered sugar on them. <laughs> they smell amazing. So these turned out amazing. We did some with just powdered sugar, but then we also did some with cinnamon and sugar. And they smell delicious. And now it's time for a taste test. Ooh. Alright, so it looks like we did it. It looks like we did it. Those ones are cinnamon and sugar. Oh, that crunch. Ooh, mm. take another bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely cinnamon and sugar. That's pretty good. I want to get that crunch again without me talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We did it? I'm perfect. Perfect. Thanks. Kira's like, whoa, mm -hmm. there's sugar on the floor. I'm going to eat the sugar off the floor. And she gets sugar on her ear. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can have a little tiny bite. Little tiny bite. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I think we did it. I think you did too. I think we did. So if you guys go ahead and make this, tag us on the Snow Dogs Vlogs Instagram. We would love to see what you did. And like I said, I will put some Amazon affiliate links to all the stuff you'll need down in the video description below. I feel like I've powdered sugar all over my face. Mm -hmm. So there, we made a Snow Dogs cooking video. We brought back the channel for at I, least one video. Yeah, I liked that. It was fun to make. Yeah. I mean, it was a little time consuming. A little time consuming, but yeah. But it was easy. Worth it. <laughs> worth it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big.
and we'll probably see you again soon. Goodbye, guys.